My dad's on drugs. I had to take care of my little sister and my little brother. Sometimes we didn't have anything to eat, so I had to steal from grocery stores. One day, this police and this lady came to our house, and they said I had to go to a foster home. And I haven't seen my brother and sister for a long time. Here at his house, we've got a beautiful campus where kids can restore the joy by having a warm and cozy and loving home. Hi, my name is Jean Caceres Gonzalez. I'm the founder and executive director for His House Children's Home, a home for abused and neglected children and children whose families are in crisis. At his house, we meet the needs of the whole child his educational needs, his emotional needs, his spiritual needs, his physical needs. Our mission is to break the cycle of abuse. At the Academy, we provide a specialized education for children who have been traumatized and reside here, as well as children who live in the community. Before his house, I used to live with my grandma um, and my mom. Yeah, things happened from there. Life at his house here, uh, first of all, I never thought I would be a Christian, you know, I never thought I would go in that path. And his house taught me a lot, it taught me to be faithful and be real, be a man. My name is Xavier Spill. My name is Avanti, I'm 12 year old, and this is how his house makes me feel. I've been impacted greatly um, the last seven years by almost all the children that come into my care. I think what impacts me the most is when a newborn comes to me because it's such a fragile, fragile, fragile age. Uh, they're just born, they're just coming into the world and they're, they're already being whisked away um, and they're not bonding with their mother who they spent nine months with inside and now they're outside. You know, I carry, it's funny because people will see me carrying newborns uh, I'll be walking and I'll have them in a, in a Snuggie and they'll be right here and they'll be with me 24-7 because that's what they need and bonding in the first few weeks of life whether it's the mother or um, uh, a substitute caregiver is so important to the rest of that baby's life. I lived in an orphanage in Haiti since I was a little girl. The earthquake was really scary. A few weeks later, after the earthquake, all the kids in the orphanage were taken on a plane. They told us we were going to a safe place. We got to his house in the middle of the night when we saw our new family. I was so happy to see them. After the catastrophe that happened in January, we were called upon by our country to assist in welcoming and receiving Haitian orphans been in the process of adoption when the earthquake occurred. Hundreds of Haitian orphans were welcomed to the United States through His House Children's Home as we became the entry point to this country and to a new future and hope. We've always had a strong love for children and this is something that we've always wanted to do prior to getting married. We always wanted to um, open our home to children in need. When you come here to his house and you see the passion of the people, that, you know, doing really it's God's work. There's so many kids that are out there today. The need is so great. But when you walk in the door and you have three little girls come running into your arms smiling and happy, what a blessing. I mean, it's all a blessing for us. There's a great need out there. We're all called to help. The His House International program, these children that are unaccompanied alien children, look to escape from abuse, gang violence, dire poverty, and come to this country hoping for a better future. Every day through the love and advocacy of our dedicated staff, along with the caring involvement of our wonderful volunteers, we impact the lives of children and their families, restoring their hope and filling their hearts with joy again. Imagine yourself as part of the solution, the His House family.